Hello everybody and welcome once again to New Mathcraft Repressurized for Minecraft 115. So today what are we going to do? We're going to actually have a few more programs. We're going to look at a few more programs. And we're also going to have a look at auto feeding. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put an aerial interface on here. You'll see I've got an aerial interface with me and I'm going to put it on this block here as it happens. So let's put it down here. I've lost a... I think I'm knocked off a... Um, heat sink or cool uh, yeah heat sink i'll have to find one anyway what we're going to do with this one we're going to put on top of it I come up here and we're going to put on top of this a hopper and i'm going to press shift to make sure it goes up what's going on here try again like that and in this hopper i'm going to put food so we've got some cooked mutton and we've got some chicken and we've got some steak in our inventory here and then the aerial interface also needs on it a um dispenser upgrade so we've put the dispenser upgrade in there and you'll see these change when i did that so if i take it out again you'll see what we get is uh side configuration items uh, in interfacing energy and interfacing items so as soon as you put this in it changes so you've got now food interfacing food and xp uh, feeding mode and interfacing xp so what you can do here um remove the dispenser to upgrade to switch to interface items okay fine food items so you've got three different modes here frugal mode greedy mode and smart mode um and what i actually quite like is greedy mode <laughs> XP, well, we don't have any mods in here which will deal with liquid XP for us, so we're a bit stuck on that one. But that's basically what it does. So now, when I get hungry, it'll take an item out of here, probably the cooked cooked mutton, and feed it to me directly. Um, there's no side interfaces with this one, but it just comes in here. So that means I never have to carry food around, which is great. I never have to think about feeding myself, which is also great. Um, and this is ready because it's got enough pressure in here, which is also good too. Ha. So the next thing I'm going to look at, there was actually a drone here called Rubbish Collector. And uh, let's have a look at the program for Rubbish Collector. I've got the programs in here that I'm going to look at today. In fact, there's five programs. Uh, let me just sort these out because I think I need to sort them out. This is Builder 2. Yes, that's okay. That's Vector Program. We're going to have a look at that one. The builder program which is this one we're going to have a look at the plastic controller we've got a new version of that and we're going to have a look at the rubbish collector so the rubbish collector is basically this a very simple program i'm just updating a sign here and the reason i'm updating a sign um if i right click it you'll I should be able to have a look at this one if i press I should be able to right click it no not show me that yes i can preview the area so it's updating this sign here, this sign at the back here. And all that does is show you where the drone is. So in this, there's a new, there's a new feature. I'm using drone, because drone is one of these variables. So if I press I on here, you'll see that we've got uh, text widgets. And the one I'm actually interested in is one about variables. Um, there we go. I've got the book with me here. So let's have a quick look at the book. Because there are some special variables. Let's now where is it and go back they're not working for me uh, probably because i'm still in the drone and in, in here anyway we'll look at that in a minute so we've got this edit sign and we need to it's basically put reporting the position of the drone and then it's going to sleep and then this is looking for this huge area here this is a huge area um and then when it's found it's picking up items and these three he areas here are exclusion areas so you can right click this one and preview the area like this and you'll see that that one's over there and that's probably the farm the next one if you just click it twice like this you'll see that's the other f that's the other farm just in front of there we can have to go and look at it and the third one of these is this one here which is the farm behind me like this and I've actually included a little bit extra space around this farm because it's, the drone was picking up items because it had a magnet in it. So that's basically that. So let's just 
preview that area again because actually it causes likes i don't want to do the whole area because it really does cause like and then it's just going to put this into a into a chest and the chest is actually up here as you can see let's go and have a look at actually what it's got in the chest because it's um got quite a lot of bits and pieces it happens uh because it's been running for a while and you'll notice it's been picking up all sorts of bits and pieces and then look phantom membranes it's already picked up three omnibus banners so the the guard drones must be doing a reasonably good job at keeping this stuff in here it's also been picking up some essences which i don't really want it to do so let's just get rid of the essences from in here uh, put another what's also in essence and seeds it's been picking up too i don't want those inferior essence that's fine that's a normal mob drop dirt isn't eggs it's been picking up um Place powder gold. Oops, I've run out of space already. Let's sort that out. It's probably got enough space in there for a little bit more time. And it's night time. So when it starts to be night time, the mobs are getting ground and the, and the rubbish collector goes around and uh, picks up a few. While well, well, that's doing that, let's just get rid of the stuff that I've got on me here. And we'll see what happens with the rubbish collector. So any mobs around here, if, can we see the rubbish collector? It's probably picking up stuff already. Let's kind of look. Obviously, I don't want to spend too much time on this today. There'll be mobs spawning over there. They'll get ground if I'm probably... Actually, I might be running out of ammunition. You'll see this one over there's an Enderman getting ground at the moment. You notice he doesn't teleport away as well. Yeah, that's going to get him and sort out the rubbish collector can come and pick up his bits and pieces. And he shoots arrows at the things as well, as you can see. <laughs> Where did the Enderman go to? I can't see. Must have, must have teleported despawned or teleported away as you see there it just been there's the drone over there and it's just picking up some stuff over here we can go and pick up the bits of xp because i can't pick up xp with the drone it doesn't work there's no there's no mechanism for doing that um it's hard to say what we've got some new stuff in here let's get rid of some of the stuff that i didn't want to Yes, he's just come in now and he's dropped something else off and I'm not sure what he dropped off. Now he wants to teleport away. Is there any more essence in there? Yes, coal essence. He's even picking up ink sacks from the, there. So it's working pretty well, this thing. For some reason there was a sheep that got killed, but I'm not quite sure how. <laughs> so that's the first program. The next program we're going to have a look at is the um, the vector program I'm calling this one. So what I've got in in here is a program. So rubbish collector. We've looked at that one. Let's have a look at the the vector program. So all you need to do to to do this is just basically shift that one into there and bring the recipe back out of here. And it seems to it's disappeared. Let's come back and do that again. It hasn't disappeared. It's just in a different place. And what this one is doing is, is wherever you put the, the drone down, it does a calculation. Uh, rel zombies targeting me. It's doing a calculation relative to the space you are. So let's just take this out. And I have got a vector drone around here. I've got a vector drone somewhere, I think. It's probably in here. Yes. So... And this updates this sign over here. I've been I've been using this sign for other things. So if I'm here, for instance, and I want to position the drone down there like this, it's the vector program. Let's just right click it on the ground. It'll it'll. Um, I'm not sure what this did there. Was that the vector program? Or was that the? I think it's possibly got the wrong program in it. <laughs> A oh, brilliant. Let's just uh, should it, I don't know what that one was doing. <laughs> Never mind. Let's just program this one up here. This is the build, the building drone. Let's.
Oh, maybe I didn't. No, I didn't program it because I thought it was already programmed in. So this is the building drawer. Let's just put this program in here like that. Because I'm using this bit of program in in here. It's very noisy and it's irritating me, so I'm going to have a quick sleep and come back in a second. Okay, let's just try that again. So, if you... Let's look at the minimap. We'll put, turn the minimap on, I think. Uh, wrong one. Right, there we go. Oh, there's another budget over there. So what we can see from this, if I zoom in a little bit on this one, we can see that the north is this way. Now, north is, in terms of coordinates, is a negative one, I think. I think that the Z disappears down. Yes, Z is going down. So that's a minus one. And this one here is the which direction we east. So that means the X goes up as you see. So if I now put the drone down here, it should building drone, let's just put it down here, it should create a, there we go, that's how the other one should have behaved <laughs> and it should have updated this sign with some coordinates. So the vector was, it was, it didn't have any vertical position, which we, which we saw, and then the x was minus 1 and the z was 1. I think that's all right around it. I do get very confused with this, I will be honest with you. There's the rubbish collectors here now. I'm just wondering where the other drone disappeared to. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. Or well, I'll find it at some other time. So that's the... That's this one. And all it's doing is doing this calculation. So it's basically taking away the drone coordinates against the coordinate of the owner. Now in the building program, which I've got here, so we'll put the drone back into this, the building drone in here, and program it up. There's one warning. We can ignore the warning. It's just something to do with some testing stuff that I've been doing. So this program here, I've got tile. Now the tile's in the amorphic tile behind us. The chest is here, and this chest is just containing materials, building materials. And then we do some calculations. So we've got the owner, which I set to the the value of the owner. I don't really need to do that because it's a it's once off thing. So I'm using two extra plastic pieces. And now I'm calculating the position of the drone. Now that's actually strangely enough important. I have to drop it down by one. So this is taking away from the position of the, the where I put the, the drone down one position. Otherwise it just starts one block too high. That's something I covered in the earlier video actually. A, a lot earlier video the other series I think it was in the real tech series so now we've got here what I'm now doing is I'm doing this difference this time I'm doing it this way around from the owner to the coordinate of the drone and then what I'm doing is I'm taking the vector which we've calculated here and I'm sub adding to it one in the y coordinate because when I'm doing it on the ground it doesn't add it in so then what we can do here is actually I want to reverse this I want to make this four and then we'll make this ten and you can actually we'll make it six like this and this is basically adding um multiplying this is a multiply one here we've got different operators here so i'm multiplying it all the other times i'm just adding stuff to it in the default but this one i'm multiplying the vector by these numbers so it's then going to produce a a building which is um, depending how far I put the drone away it's going to make it a four by three high by um, seven long and then I'm calculating the area from the where the drone is where the position I want the drone to be which is on the ground to the there, vector then we print out everything like this and then we've said it is initialized so then this bit of code here it says it's initialized so this bit of code only gets called once i have a six second wait here just so we can see what's going on and then here what we do is have another wait just so we can time it i'm going to pick up some items from a, a chest in this case i'm picking up 32 stone 32 stone and here we can do the same thing let's make it then um, 48 48 cobblestone or something like that well I'm, so it doesn't keep going there and backwards and then i'm setting the um, the value of the position to the drone i don't need to do that we can get rid of this that's for another 
bit of stuff and when that's finished we're going to go back to sleep and then we're going to just basically place the blocks down from this area so it's the area where the original drones put to the top coordinate that's how it works shall we um got the drone here let's program it in let's go down let's go down somewhere that is reasonable while i'm here i'll just get rid of these extra bits i've got on my stuff in here Look, you'll see it's picked up some rotting flesh i think that's coming from somewhere else as it happens i think that's the farm and all things getting killed around here are being picked up by the that drone so here i want to start and what i want to do is i want to build this so i said that the if you look along here this is the z direction so we're increasing the z direction and i made that to being six long so it's going to build it now four by six so i'm going to stand here in this block and place the drone down here like that and then we can just we've got enough time to highlight it what's going on let's just get it back into the thing like that and see what it's doing so now it's waiting <clears throat> it's initialized everything now it's waiting so now it's going to go and pick up some um stone and it's also going to pick up some cobblestone from the same chest I tried to do it like this um, with two item filters, one beside the other on that. Didn't work as it happens. So now it's going to come back and it's going to start placing the blocks down. Like this. So this is the floor. Oh, I didn't tell you what I did with the... Um, like this. And this is then the, the walls. And she thinks it be, should be three high. Which means we've got enough space to go inside it. on the way there. And then I think it disappears off to get some more pieces because it's used up all its its blocks. And when it's finished, it'll just put everything around here. We could then build a door, but it, the drone will fill it in again if we do that. Let's just knock a door. Let's knock a door in here, for example. But the drone will come along and fill this in again, I think. Oh, look, the rubbish collector came along and it's probably in the way of the drone. <laughs> so it can't. Oh. So now it's sort of. Ah, oh, the vector drone's here. They must have, must have got a program with the rubbish collector. Let's just pick up the vector drone. And this is going to teleport somewhere. I'm not sure what it's going to teleport to. So now it's out of the way, so the drone will come back again. The only problem with the program, is that I, and I'm not even sure if this is possible, is to know when this building's finished. Um, there doesn't seem to be a way to figure that out. There you go, so now it's placed all the bits, filled in the bit again, now it's going to go back over to the other side. So we'll just grab it now. And then we have a little building, it's not perfect. It didn't put any windows in. It didn't build a doorway. <laughs> it's back again. It didn't put any windows in. It really probably wants to be one block below. So let's have a quick look at that stuff. Okay, now if I want to correct this, I'll put the stuff I've picked up out of the oops, put the stuff I've picked out of the drone away like this. We don't need that, that's the cobblestone. And let's also right click this stuff off here because I've got all of these extra bits, seeds, inferior seeds and some chicken essence. So they go the other side anyway. So now what we would like to do is we'd like to build it one block below. So what we could do here is to say, make this area here from the start of the drone and it moves to the area. So, so the drone position is here. Now I'm using the drone, that's the area. I want to change the drone position. I don't want to do it up here, or maybe I do. So let's just change this to duplicate that and drop, drop it down one more position here. I'm just gonna check if that's going to affect anything. So here's the vector. I don't change this vector here because that's relative to my, the owner. I think it's at head height. That's the problem with it. I think that's all we need to do. Let's just see if this works. Program it up. 
Come over here. I'll get rid of this water stuff. Is it night time? It's night time. I'll be back in a second when it's daytime. Well, it's daytime. It's going to be a bit longer than I wanted to because I got rid of the rest of the stuff as well at the same time. So what we're going to do is do this again. Oh, the creeper there. I've got to get rid of him. So we can pick up all of this because well, I've got so touch on this and I'll, I'll just do your, your excavation it'll pick the whole lot up and then we can put the drone down again and see what happens so I get you a minute it's now waiting a little bit the went the end of the other bit so I'm hoping that it's going to just build walls because because I'm flat here, I'm hoping it's just going to do, build walls around here. Now, in order to make a doorway, we can do that as well. So let's just see what it's, what the drone's going to do to start with. I'm curious because I haven't done this yet. In fact, it should be coming back in a second. There we go. Now it's actually building the walls. Perfect. So I've got the floor and I don't need to build it out. Like that. Let's go around for here, pick up some XP, lots of XP sitting around, put on a magnet. <laughs> always handy. Can never can always need XP, so let's pick up all of that stuff. I just need to turn the magnet off as I come towards this farm. Now, how do we create a doorway? It's actually very straightforward. We need an area that's a negative area. Now we know where the, the drone is here in the the area okay we know where the drone starts so what we want to do is we want to calculate the one position above the drone so let's just put this down here like this um i'm going to take the drone piece here that's the one we're going to be change um changing now we're going to call this one door as it happens okay and then we can put this back onto here like this. So the door is going to be the position of the drone plus a space minus another bit, okay? So here's the drone coordinate here like this. And I think we need the this one like this. And then we're going to add one to it like, like this as being the starting position of, of the door. Okay, so what we need to now, so that should be the first block here. So what we now also would like to do is move it along a little bit as well. So let's just make sure that we move this along. Let's move it along two in the X direct axis. I think this will work. I'm not 100% sure. So that's one above the floor and this is the there. And we want it to be two blocks high. So now what we can do is we can come along here, move this bit over here and take, create a new area piece here like this. So we want to place it, but we don't want to place it everywhere. So we're going to place it from um, the door. So we can just type in door here like this. And I need to specify another variable in here. So that's the door bottom. And let's make the door top as being one block above that. Let's just change that. B for bottom and then we'll just do the same thing again and this time we're going to call it a door top D for top and what we need to specify here is we'll take the drone positions we've got here uh, we can actually take the draw base position let's get rid of that sorry rubbish let's put that over there let's take this one doesn't matter which piece I can take. I can take a new one here like this. And then we can specify this one's going to be a new variable. We're going to call this one door top. Top like this. Okay. And the constant value we're going to apply to this is just one block up. So it's there's no x there's no x's in here that we're going because we're using that from the other one. We're going to add one to the Y position. So that should be two blocks. I hope that's the case anyway. 
And then we've got door bottom here, which is calculated and door top. Actually, I need to change this because that's actually door bottom. Like this. Because we're taking one from the door bottom to make the door top. So then the other area here is we're going to take it from door bottom to door top. And that's a piece we're going to exclude. Okay, let's just take the drone. Should be around about here actually. What he does is he tends to pick up more and more stuff over time because we don't know how we don't know when he's finished. So let's put the stuff back into here. As you can see, there's quite a lot of cobblestone and stone that he picked up. In fact, I think that's everything. Yep. Um, let's reprogram the drone. And let's go and build that building again. There's plenty of materials in there, so I don't have to come keep coming back. I just have to break them with the, the pickaxe. So I'm not sure if the draw is going to be here or there. Oops, there's a zombie around somewhere. Where is he? Just here. What was he inside? <laughs> Okay, he's inside. Let's just uh, break the cobblestone first of all. There he is. <laughs> right, get rid of him. <laughs> Oops, I didn't really think about that. Maybe I have to change this program again. Like that. So now, which one was came and teleported? Well, probably the rubbish collector. Try that again. Let's put this down. And I'll be back in a second when it's built and we'll see what happens. Well, you can see it's built the door this time. Um, it hasn't finished yet. It's actually, it just hasn't finished. Um, but I had a little bit of trouble. <laughs> a little bit of trouble. You'll see it's got a stone floor now. The reason I had a little bit of trouble, the creepers and all sorts of mobs are spawning inside this <laughs> as soon as it was dark. Very effective mob spawner as it happens. Um, and there we go. So now it's completed. So we just get with it. We can collect the drone now. So it doesn't do anymore. In fact, it's probably going to go off and try and get some more stuff. So what I'd like to do now is just break it up. But it will actually come back here. Like that. And start to build again. So we'll have to basically come along and catch him. See you in a second. Well, that's it for this episode. If you look at my uh, hot bar, you'll see my food has gone up a bit. So the auto feed is definitely working. Anyway, until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.